We are exploring Zoho's Backstage. Backstage is used for events. They can be virtual or in person. Uh, Backstage does come with the Zoho One Suite. It does not come with the CRM Plus Suite. Once you log in, this is the dashboard. You'll see all of the events that are upcoming listed here. If you want to see past events, you'll you'll click here to see that anything that's canceled, all of the events, and then any that have been trashed. So just going back here, we'll look at the first event that we have listed here. This is how much progress, you know, whenever you go in to set up the event, there are different questions and, you know, 43% of them have been answered. Here is where you will get your microsite URL. This is the URL you can give out so that people can register for your event. And then how the tickets, how many tickets have been sold, how many are still available, how many sessions you've set up for the event throughout that time period. And then the event members, however many speakers and organizers. The attendees are here if they're already checked in and then those that are yet to check in. And then you have some integration options here. Now just to explore, this is what the visitor or user or attendee will see whenever they click on your URL. It will have the name of the event here with the date. And then um, if you have your own domain set up, then obviously it will be your domain backslash grow your business for this event. And then you do have some options around changing the background here and then justifying to the left or to the right. This is, it will have a countdown here until the event. And then the different sections here, why attend, the speakers, sessions, and then a form for them to complete if they have questions or comments. This is the agenda. This is an event from 9 a.m. to about 12 o'clock p.m. So the attendees can see how long each one is and then also they can choose which sessions they'd like to attend. They can also print out the agenda. Speakers are here. You can click here to see the profile for the speaker. And then also it'll show you which events they're teaching. This is where they will buy tickets. You can use one of two different things. Um, I believe there are two different options for tickets and one is events bright all right so going back here we're going to skip this because we're going to get to the branding in the settings here is the team these are the event members right um, you'll see each of those listed here and then the sessions that we talked about earlier this particular event has six it will show you if it's in track one, track two, and I'll explain that a little bit more in just a second. This is where you'll get your link. Here's your link here. If you'd like to send the link to people to purchase tickets. And then you can do, you have some options here for the theme or templates. So you can justify to the left or to the right. You can have you know, just just fight in the middle. And then you have image customization. This is an upgrade to what I'm using right now. I am using Zoho One, a trial. I have about 16 days left in this trial. So in order to do the image customization, you will have to upgrade. All right, and this is, this is just giving you a preview of how it'll look and then you can download it. You can share it on your social media. You can click here to share. On each of these platforms all right if you have a blog or a website here's the code where you can embed it and then you can choose which layout you want so this one here is the leaderboard the 970 by 90 you can change it to the banner and then you know rectangle or square and then you also can change the format of the date and time if you have an affiliate program and you need to be able to, to track those links then you can add your affiliates here this is the progress that i was telling you about on the other part of the dashboard where it tells you how much of each section you've completed and then this is your content library if you have any presentations you've uploaded um, you would see that here 
any registrations. If anyone has registered for the event, you can see here we have one, then you will see how many were registered here. This is your sales report. This is the order summary. You can see here it was purchased by Jack Jackson. This is a, going to be a list of all the attendees. Any prospects, people you've sent it to, and then miss registrations. You can edit the emails that go out for attendees, the purchaser, any sign in emails or other emails. So you can go in and, you know, literally edit each one of them just to make sure they are what you would want them to edit. You can edit each one. And then here is where if anyone have any questions, all of their queries will go to the queries tab. The control room is where you can see how many tracks, how many sessions, and then you can click and see which ones these are shared. So for each track, track one and track two, you have um, the same welcome, you know. So when you set these up, and we'll do that in just a second, you can choose whether or not it's going to be common for all the tracks or if it's just specific to that particular track. Okay, so let's go in as if we were going to edit this event. When you set up an event, you'll go through and add all of the information here. You have different choices on which webcast service you'd like to use. You can use Backstage on Air or Zoho Meeting, or you can even use Zoom, WebEx, etc. All right, so here is where you set up the agenda, the speakers, the tickets. This is track one. Basically what we're saying is we have, we have sessions going on at the same time. This is track one. It begins at 9 a.m. and then it goes all the way through 12 p.m. And track two also begins at 9 a.m. but it ends at 11 but they're going on at the exact same time. All right, so the speakers are listed here. This is the back end. Whenever the visitors see the speakers, they will see them like this, okay? Tickets. This is where you can go in and add different ticket classes. This is just general. You can have an early bird or what have you. And then how you'll be taking payments, any promotion codes, promotional codes, cancellation policies, and then some other settings. If you have sponsors for your event, you can also add sponsors. And this is the design. This is where you can go in and make changes to the design itself. Um, you can upload logos, make some changes here to the verbiage, colors. If you want to show a venue, if it's an in-person meeting, then you'll be able to go in and activate or show this section. All right, so we're going back here and we're going to go over to the team tab. Again, it will show you all of the members, any pending invitations to other portal members, and then the settings section. This is where you'll go in and you can change the name of your portal or set the name of your portal, the organization, add logos, and then if you would like to use the default subdomain, you can do that or you can use your own domain. This branding tab, again, the logo um, here, you can put this icon here if you'd like to in the browser. And then if you'd like to add the custom domain, that's, this is where you would do that. If you'd like to add terms and policies for your page, and you can hide the footer branding, <laughs> the Zoho footer branding. All right, so your plan details, any integrations that you have, 
right? So you can integrate with Google Analytics, which with PageSense, I'll have another video on PageSense and how that whole thing works. The CRM, Sales IQ, I will have me, um, I will have videos on all of these actually. You can actually create webhooks. You got to code those, so it's really technical. Data privacy, payment, right? So you can get to some of these things more than one way you'd like to change the profiles and the permissions that they have so that is it in a nutshell that is backstage this is how it looks on the front end or this is an example rather um, like I said you can do some some customization there all right you can also add your social media links add your own logo and then this app can be downloaded on you know for Apple and for Android so users can actually log in to see the agenda for the events and things like that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those in the comments. And also we have some more training that's coming. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can maximize the use of your Zoho system. If you have or need any help with integrating, customizing any of your Zoho tools, we can definitely help you with that. Just contact us at SuccessfulSolutions.com.